are the let's see how the villagers are doing. <laughs> you know, it's really cool seeing this place have all the the new villagers in it, but I think it needs a few more, so I'm probably gonna put some more villagers in here. Maybe like three of them, three or four. Or maybe maybe just all of those uh all those extra ones that were made at the spawner. But that's not what's actually planned for today. Uh, this might be a shorter episode, but oh, I love that they use the they use the walkway. I thought I'd take it easy and uh, ease back into things in this series, nice and slow, with the uh, with little projects, little tiny projects here and there to kind of you know get the wheel spinning. <laughs> Taking a walk, and taking a walk, and do do do. I don't know if I know how to even hold back. So if anyone isn't familiar with this place, I mentioned it in um, episode 33, where uh, I was incorporating a new location into the story. And I got to this point, and I said something magical needs to be here. I wasn't sure what. And I said that by the time I was back here, something would happen. I think that's that's all I really said or promised. So uh, I've been looking at this area, and I decided to clear out this circle. This circle has a diameter of 92 blocks. And hello. I found a spot that just plopped it down. Uh, I kind of had to dig in here to uh, build the rest of the circle, but I'm sure we can naturalize things to accommodate it. In case anyone can't guess, or hasn't guessed yet, I should say, this is going to be a whirlpool. I This is also, as you've also noticed, quite a bit larger than the one in my tutorial video. Basically, I was inspired that people were actually building it, which uh, it's it's surprising to me because well, not that I guess it isn't that people are building it, but that they were building it in like survival mode. And I was thinking, man, I've I've never actually done that, and I I can't have people going off, you know. It's it's like me saying to go play in traffic, and I've never played in traffic myself, really. To so it's just like you know. Um, the, or the, wait, that's a bad example. <laughs> that's like me saying, hey, why don't you shop at this store? Uh, and, and you're like, oh, great. Have you ever been there? And I was like, well, no. I mean, I looked at it from the outside. I've never actually bought anything there. I've been inside it. I don't know. Maybe I can't think of a, a good metaphor. But I feel like I should give this a go. And in true Reg McNed fashion, try something all out huge that I've never bigger than I've ever tried ever Minecraft in. Oh, but I will need to basically make a cylinder out of this and drain all the water out. But even in my tutorial in creative mode, I mentioned how important it is to have sponge blocks. So I think I need to draft some help. I went and I killed them all. I killed them all. <laughs> Basically, I went onto a uh, junk finder or junk base. I forget, I forget what it's called. And um, typed in the seed for this. Found all the ocean monuments. And I raided about 12 of them. After that, I actually think I'm pretty much a professional at this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down what I do. And I'm going to take my time. And I'm going to show you how to take on one of these in style, I guess. Um, first, I thought I was going to need these. Turns out I didn't. I think what I really just needed was decent armor. So, uh, Depth Strider is a must. Respiration is really nice, and Aqua Affinity is probably a must too. But if this stuff's good, you know, a little protection. Um, yeah, Sharpness 4, Sword's good. Just something. Something with efficiency all the way. Uh, a couple torches and a milk, and that's pretty much it. 
So I'm just gonna get at it. You can tell from the lights that this area right here is the front. So what I'm gonna do is right when I'm over it, I'm gonna push the shift button. You can only go down at a constant speed. So trick is to um, just land in here. Usually you'll get inside before anything attacks you. And now you're at the first part, the first part of the dungeon. It is worth noting that if you went straight up all the way, you would actually find one of the guardians. Oh, uh, that, that, okay. If you only went up one floor and went straight sideways either way, you'd be at the entrance chambers to the other two. So that's, that's all three of them. Uh, make sure you don't let your air bubbles go down. So that's what the torches are for. Also, you're probably going to want to stay in this row and the next row over. So the this is sort of made up into squares, kind of, or cubes. And like, so here's a cube, here's a cube, there's a cube on top, here's a cube, and they all kind of vary. Some of them are too wide, more or less. So basically, you can't really do anything cool here until you find the baddies. So you have to go up a level anyways. I think yep this one's right here so something to talk about here is they'll attack you, you just break sight with it then it'll swim away and when it swims away it usually retracts its little spiky things like that and that's when you can hit it without taking damage. So I'm not doing a very good job of demonstrating that, but doing my best. All right. I, I really don't want to lose these. I think they're going to be okay. But yeah, there's one. You could always find another one by going along this this thing that's over here. I can replenish my air. Keep walking. You might as well walk toward these guys because once they start shooting their little laser beams at you, if you get next to them, they stop. So that's actually how you disarm them. You don't even have to fight them. You can just... I like to use Sprint because I have Depth Strider. You totally can do that. And we're pretty much ready for the next one. This one's gonna be, uh, has a lot of friends to help it out. Luckily you can, uh, break, break eyesight, <laughs> break eye contact. And then go to town. Or you can, you know, charge it and hope for the best. I'm getting hit by a lot of stuff, actually. Okay. Oh, one got me from behind. First time I've died in a... Ah, oh, it's, the, it's the 13th one. That's why I died. <sighs> you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll get back to this. <laughs> I have to get my gear. All right, not to worry. I got back and got everything. The only thing that hurt was my pride. I was hoping to do this without dying, but it's more important that I show everything I know about these places. I got a little uh, little confident there, so yeah, that was uh, that was my mistake. Anyways, that's two down, but there's still the one up high, so I'm gonna go back in, remembering that this is all. The, this corridor that I'm looking down is the front side of the building that I entered. So actually, I probably entered one below there. No, I'm in the second floor. Oh, all right, here we go. This is the, uh, oh, I gotta put everything back. So just like before, It'll do its attack, then we break eye contact, it'll swim around, and if you're lucky, you'll just 
it'll keep swimming around. So yeah, that's all three. This is the only reason I have the bucket is to take away the mining fatigue. Thus starts phase two. So phase two is getting all the resources and I've found a pretty easy way to do it. Um, find yourself the second level. Easiest way is to dig down until you find level nothing, which uh, there's a, so this is one. That's where we came in actually. So we're gonna do what we're gonna do is dig around this level. And it's easier to start at one of these because this will tell you that you're actually at the side of the facility if you see one of these chambers. Sponge rooms are the things that I want. So each of these rooms, sponges will only, as from my experience, happen on the second and third floors. So I just peek up a little bit in the center of each one of these. Go here, peek up, keep going. And here, there's nothing up there. Da da da, take a peek. I'm at the side of the facility now. So I'm gonna go in a level. <laughs> so okay, we found one. And I'm not gonna mine this just now, just so I can show this. I'll mine it all after. This is one of, all right, there's another one. This is one of those cases where it's like this is a cube and this is another cube, but it shares a room. Oh, keep going. There's another one. Doesn't look like there's anything up there. Break eye contact with that. That one. Uh, get, get in, get, get in there. Okay. And this is probably the last one in the chain. Yeah, you can tell because there's no roof. At this point, the chances really diminish once you get three blocks into the, uh, or three rooms deep. But you do get closer to that one really big room. So, uh, actually, yeah, I don't think there's a third floor anymore. And, yeah, here's the big room. The gold's usually in there. And you should probably look in these, too, just in case. So yeah, there's a third sponge room. That's really nice. <laughs> um, I don't know. Can you go for a record? Give it four. This is the easiest way to do this is to get on top and get a little spot here so they can't bug you anymore. Then you can uh, go to town, exit the gift shop, and let's go through the rest of this. That's an outside world. And so is that. Okay, that's all the places. After you get everything, you can just exit through digging up straight up and then find your boat. So I'm gonna collect all these and head on back. So I have to admit, this has been kind of a shorter video, but that's mostly because a lot of um, there's been a lot of planning time. A lot of planning went into making sure that I figured out a pretty good shape for the whirlpool, where a good location. Uh, getting those sponges, oh boy. <laughs> so I'm not really sure how long it's going to take to build it. It might be something that carries over over time. I just know that it's going to take a long time. It took a long time in creative, like it's gonna have to take a long time like it has to in survival I am going to document it I'm probably not gonna show like any long-form videos of uh, me building it but I'll try to keep you posted every step of the way and really I think that just about wraps it up for this one thank you for watching this is uh, Ben Red McNed with the saga of Red McNed and hopefully I'll see you in the next episode and take care